my time at art school was very exciting. I had very good tutors. Go to France, we'll go to Amsterdam, we'll see all the Van Goghs, we'll see all the Monets. You know, we'll travel in three or four times a year to Europe. And you see all this amazing painting and you think, oh well, I have to find my own niche in this world, what am I going to do? But I realise you have to find something that really turns you on, something you really can get your teeth into. That's when I started going to all the nightclubs in Hackney. And I thought, this is what I want to do. The drawings were made in the dark. I couldn't see what I was doing. You got to feel as if you're th out there with the people, dancing and moving. It actually relates to the country I'm from, Grenada and the West Indies. It's more carnival oriented Grenada, less kind of house parties. We're going to get started. Oh, there we go. Let's just get the portfolio out. Yeah, so these are most of my nightclub drawings from the 80s. This is Jashaka, and this was done to the length of a record, which is about three or four minutes in those days. I'll be sitting on a table at the back of the bar. So this is just less of Jashaka and more of the crowd, and you can see the speaker and the heads, because these people, I mean, because it's very crowded, they'll be just rocking back and forth to the base. This is a really freaky one of the nightclub. <laughs> it's really going, oh, oh, oh. everything is in there. The more gesture, movement, action, and the more kind of selective concentration of individuals, guy toasting on the mic. The Winston Rose. This is related to the Winston Rose. This is how it was carried to the police van, handcuffed, with all the police surrounding him with the foot on him and the social worker there. And basically he was dead now, really. Got no pulse. And they took him to the local nearest hospital. Yeah. yeah I forgot I had that one. Yes, is that's Winston Rose in the police van. I didn't decide to do anything with the police because I wanted to do something political. It only came about because the guy who they killed, which was Winston Rose, he was a friend of mine because we lived in the same house in Hackney when I came to this country. Like the police were pretty, well, you know, it was pretty rough in those days. I needed the, the thing about Winston Rose, my knowledge about him and his life and how he got killed to spur me on. Because I ended up doing about four or five years of police painting. because of all the studies I did for Winston Rose. That's the dread in the middle, the central character. The dread could be the businessman, the policeman, and the politician. <laughs> There's a, a, a street dealer, probably going to get his stuff. <laughs> this character I use a lot, I really love this character. Because a lot of the raster blokes, they used to walk around with the, the hanky and they'll have a certain walk that they do, you see. They, you know, they'll, they'll sort of bend one leg. They used to do things like the monkey dance, the Charlotte Temple. They, they used to watch a lot of Bruce Lee films in Jamaica. And so this figure is dressed almost like in a pyjama. And some, I mean, some people at the nightclubs will come so interestingly dressed up. They look as if they're like a king from Africa, you know. This figure here, with the big sort of hair and the yellow, it's like almost like an angel. I've tried to evoke like a wing. Really, this, this is about Winston Rouge, you see. Although he's like a dread or Asta with his ghetto blaster, that figure is basically an angel coming to rescue Winston Rouge. 
you don't realize that you're dealing with sort of um, you know the darker aspects of life and you you're sort of going into it you know believing and full vigor and spirit and whatever but then the other side of my work which is more people enjoying being at the nightclub dancing and stuff I wouldn't say they are more kind of um, lighter, sunnier, they're not to do with death and stuff like that. Um, which I suppose the burial was to do with, and the three wicked men came about because of someone being, you know, someone dying in police custody. <laughs> 